all, it's me, Vivian, from the Paper Letter Blog, also known as the Chatty Pen Pal Channel. And today I have a special treat. We are doing another wax sealing video. I have two camera angles, as you can see in a second. I have speeded up clips, slowed down clips, up close and personal. And basically I'm just going to show you a bunch of different techniques or ideas you can use for your wax seals. The basics. As you can see, I am first unpacking something really exciting because the goodies I will mainly be using today are from a brand or a web shop called Crossfire. I am doing a collaboration with them. This is not an advertisement, but as I've done in more videos before, I basically received goodies I got to choose <laughs> for some goodies from their shop in return for this video I am making. Um, but as always, all opinions are my own. I don't get paid money for saying anything or for sharing my discount card. <laughs> I will put it in the description box down below and I will also mention it later on in this video. Um, but basically it's just, you know, I make these videos all the time and it's kind of exciting to try out something new. So what I'm showing you or what I'm working with today is of course this beautiful marble um, coaster. I picked a couple goodies. I picked three different color combinations of heart shaped wax seal beads. I see these all the time on Instagram and they look so fun. I knew I had to try them out. I also picked two wax seal stamp heads. I never choose or I never pick the handles because I have bunch of them and you can just screw them off and use one handle for all of your stamps and then like I said I kindly asked them if I could get one of those Marvel coasters and they threw one in there <laughs> so the first color I'm going to test is this milky nearly clear wax and I'm going to test that out with one of my own stamps, which is just a blank stamp. It's just a large circle without a design. And I'm going to press in a hydrangea, a purplish blue hydrangea that I dried from one of our own garden flowers. And it looks a lot of fun. The heart shaped wax seal beads are just a had smaller than the regular beads if I had to guess um, so normally I would use around four regular wax seal beads and now I'm using four to five um, heart shaped ones depending on how much wax is left in the spoon and this is the end result this wax seal stamp is a little bit bigger than the regular ones but it worked out so well with that nearly I, I'm, I don't know how to explain this wax it's not clear but it's like almost clear and it looks incredible I think with that beautiful flower in there um, if I don't like some goodies that I have received in a collaboration I will always let you know but I'm actually quite pleased with how that turned out the next wax seal color we are choosing is the lightest blue that was also in that blue pack of colors I will link everything that I have chosen down below I never clean out my spoon so there was like a little bit of that clear wax still in there and it's marbled quite subtly through the um, the wax seal stamp the wax seal the wax seal <laughs> and what I'm doing here is I'm adding two more mini dried flowers as well so basically technique number one is one color of wax with the dried flowers and this is uh, the first wax seal stamp that I chose. I chose one of them myself, which is a wonderful poppy that you're going to see in a second. And then this wax seal design is actually chosen by my patrons. I couldn't choose between a couple and they made the decision for me. It is a, um, an hourglass with some floral and some little touches here and there. So what I did is I just used a metallic marker. Mine are from Stabilo, but there's multiple out there and I colored in the design. This is the poppy seal that I was talking about. I am absolutely in love with it and I would 100% recommend it because it's quite 
clear like the the design itself pops off of the seal almost it, it's quite high i really don't know how to explain this but it's really fun the wax seal that i'm making here i was not pleased with because i kind of spilt too much glitter on there which is my next tip you can add glitter but i added too much and i didn't like it so i immediately just peeled it back off of the marble mat and i melted it again and then it turned out really really fun and quite a lot more subtle because too much glitter is never really pretty so there you have it beautiful beautiful um subtle glitter and like i said i am in love with that poppy i have a discount card for you which i as i mentioned i will link down below it's vivian five for five dollars off of every order from forty dollars or more I don't get anything like if you order from them it's not like I get a percentage or anything but who doesn't love a discount code and I am like I said I would be honest if I don't like it but I am genuinely excited about these wax seal stamps then here I am doing a the one from the other bag of colors which is uh, some sort of an peachy orange which I'm quite in love with as you can see I made another one of those hourglass seals this is not my favorite I don't know it seemed a little bit bland but I can definitely add something like even eye shadow to make it look more special this is one of my favorites I think it might actually be the favorite wax seal I've made not to spoil the fun for you but I decided to use the leftover wax in the spoon and add light blue yellow that yellowish peachy orange and pink all in one spoon and the color combination is just divine i think this worked out so fun so my next tip definitely is mix fun colors together um i mean i used the uh poppy again but this would look fun with any type of seal you're doing i am so pleased and i wanted to test out the marble coaster to be fair i just wanted to test it out because again i'd seen it on instagram and it just looked cool but it actually works quite well because usually i will use baking parchment or baking paper and then that just gets quite messy but it works quite well but it's you can't clean it so once it's spoiled you have to replace it and you can use a marble coaster over and over again so it's looks and efficiency the next wax seal I showed you was quite fast because I wasn't actually too pleased with it. I just did pink with some gold foil. And now I'm going to do something I am very pleased with. I am going to do two different colors from two different spoons. Again, something I've seen on Instagram. It's not as easy as one would think. And it turned out quite messy, but it still looks kind of fun. Of course, you could also do um, two colors in one spoon as I've shown you before but this actually gives a little bit more division between the two colors and again I chose pink and orangey peachy kind of color um, that were in the I don't know if you can see this because my computer cannot handle a file this big but the wax seal had a tiny little air bubble in it and i have a simple trick you can actually use a little bit of heat to make the bubble pop and if you keep going long enough um, without try not to make it go black <laughs> so don't hold it in the heat of the flame but just hold it next to the flame and then the bubble, bubble will pop and the wax will actually melt around it so that it looks smooth again. More tips about that in a second. First, I am going to take it one step further and actually do three different spoons and three different colors of wax. It was kind of daunting, especially because the wax dries too fast for me to make a perfect wax seal stamp but it's such a fun idea and I do um, kind of like that rainbow look so I didn't want to show it up close because it's not perfect but I am going to be experimenting with this and you will probably see it in another video once I've perfected it um, so my trick for the air bubbles is actually never make your wax too hot I have one of those little wax seal furnaces 
you don't need that at all but it helps me to not bring the spoon too close to the flame because the closer to the flame the faster it heats up and the faster you get those air bubbles so usually i will just alternate between two spoons so that neither of them go too hot and they both have kind of the perfect temperature um so speaking about like temperatures and stuff i don't know if this was a coincidence or if this was because of the marble coaster or because i was more patient but i actually noticed that this wax that i was using in the video that i got from crossfire didn't bubble as fast i definitely am not an expert but i have a feeling that this wax might overheat slower or something i don't know it might be a coincidence but it could also have something to do with the quality or the contents of the wax i don't know not a professional anyway i would love to be a, a wax seal professional <laughs> for the next wax seal i am doing another trick that i love it's two different colors in one spoon carefully stir it through a little bit so that you get that marble effect and then um, pour it onto your surface. I ended it with some blue, a blue metallic marker, and I think that looks looks absolutely divine. There are so many things you can do with just wax. For example, like I said, you can do two colors in one spoon, or three or four, I don't care two colors in one spoon and don't stir it or you can do all of them in one spoon and stir it carefully so you get the marble effect or you can stir it all the way through like I've done for this wax seal and when you stir it all the way through obviously you create one beautiful color so for the wax seal I'm doing here it fails miserably not gonna lie but I wanted to try and do one color um, wax first and then kind of carefully dot Kind of carefully dot um, a different a contrasting color in there to create you know when you do latte art and they make those cool shapes in your coffee that was what I was trying to go for but again I wanted to try something new for this video it didn't go perfectly so I will try and uh, perfect that before I do another video it's not really worth showing up close but hmm it was fun to test this out I am now going to show all of them up close so that you can get a better look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. If you love wax sealing videos, I have a dozen of them on my channel. I will link the playlist down below. Let me know some of your favorite tips and tricks for wax seals. I forgot to mention one that I did, which was obviously to put sequins in. There's so much to talk about in these videos. I just get overwhelmed. Um, but yeah, and if you're interested in learning all about the pen pal hobby and things you can send to your pen pals, check out my channel. And I will talk to you again soon, wishing you a lot of love, health and happiness. And don't forget to take care of yourself. And uh, yeah, bye!